Yo, alright, so I just decided to start doing this, uh, goddamn, eh. I just started, to, I just, uh, decided to start doing this YouTube channel shit, and, uh, it's because I just seen a video on, uh, the Nation of Islam, uh, Khal- Khalid, uh, Khalid Muhammad, Khalid Muhammad, um, I just seen a video, I just shared it on my Facebook, uh, he spoke very intelligently and elegantly about the nation of Islam or his personal beliefs, and it had me hooked, I'm not gonna stop, he said something about, uh, Information and uh, inspiration, and that I understood that. You know what I'm saying? The, uh, Phil Donahue uh, asked him if he actually believed in what he's talking about, or is he just an entertainer? And he said, "Shit, realistically, basically, you know." Uh, Black people is a people of rhythm, and they need to be inspired to believe. And I agree with that 100%. So, after I watched the video, I uh, I Googled how do I join the Nation of Islam. I was really feeling this shit, and in the moment, I'm thinking, man, this is something that I want to be part of. I see, I realize, I recognize how black people are mistreated in society. How we shot down, criminalized, institutionalized. As a whole, black people, we fucked up. And I really honestly hate that shit. You know? So I Google, uh, how do I join the nation of Islam? And they told me, you know, go to the, your local mosque and after the Sunday uh, service... They're going to ask you questions and, you know, if you want to join this, this, that, and the other. And I'm thinking, okay, you know, okay, I can do this. I can do this. And then it just hit me like the Nation of Islam (laughs) are Islamic, you know. And it's, I had a blind moment. It's it's a real, real stupid shit for me not to understand that. The Nation of Islam is a black empowerment group, but they're also a religious group, you know, or religious sect or whatever you want to call it, because they are Islamic. And I'm thinking to myself, like, everything they stand for, I can connect with. I can understand that. I can appreciate that, you know. But I'm not Islamic. I thought about studying to become a Muslim. Uh, I wanted to study that shit just because it interested me. But at the end of the day, I can't see myself becoming that for the simple fact that it's the same reason I'm not a Christian. Why I consider myself agnostic. Because there are too many unknown variables when it comes to any higher power. God, afterlife where we came from, where we're going, all of these questions no one has the answer to. No matter what they may say, no matter how hard they may believe, no one knows the answers. No one knows if there's a God, if there's a heaven, if there's a hell. Uh, If you live your life doing good deeds, you know what I'm saying, will you be rewarded? Or if after you die... You decompose, and that's just it. No one knows, because nobody has died and came back. And, you know, it's, 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 no one, no one's been through that. No one knows, for sure. All it is, is just man translated, as in the Bible. You know, what man believes is going to happen. You know, everything, every religion, everything that people believe in everything that people kill for love for hate for 
discriminate against for all of these religions are man made. Anyway, I get off topic. I ramble. I tend to ramble. But uh, anyway, I'm not Islamic. And I was thinking if there is some group that I can get into that's similar to the Nation of Islam, but with different principles or, or you know, different, uh, different principles, uh, one one thing that I, I notice about the nation of Islam that I can agree with, but I don't wholehearted. I'm not gonna blindly follow behind the shit. Is the only black, you know, what I'm saying it's it's specifically for black people. It's not predominantly black, or we accept white people sometimes, or you know, other minorities are welcome to join. And, you know, don't get me wrong, I, I'm not, I haven't, you know, I'm not fucking expert on this shit. I just did my little basic research and, and I'm telling you what I believe, you know, it's this, this, this is just my opinion. Um, but from what I've seen, it's only blacks. And I can agree with that. I can agree with that wholeheartedly. Almost. So I can't agree with that wholeheartedly. Okay. Reverse Reverse, reverse. Back it up a little bit. I can partially agree with that because, you know, uh, of course I want to see the uh, the betterment and empowerment of African Americans, black people as a whole. I want to see that shit. I love to see that shit. But realistically, we are not the only minority that's getting persecuted. Yeah, we getting persecuted the most. Yeah, we've been through the most shit. With slavery and fucking uh, racism and fucking persecution and mass incarceration, all of this other good stuff. We've been through all of that. We've been through fucking hell and back. At the same time, other minorities got similar backgrounds. That being said, the nation Islam, from what I read and what I uh, think I know, they are only accepting black people. I want to join something that's not limited to race. Yeah, I don't hate white people. I'm uncomfortable around them. I don't consider myself racist or prejudiced. I just feel like... Well, it's, it's not only white people, though. It's, it's black people, Mexican people, Chinese, Asian people, you know... Latin American people, God damn it, Indian American people, Native American, whatever. If I don't know that you're a real honest person, that you're a good-hearted individual, and that you only want the best for me, I'm going to look at you with, if not suspicion, not trust. I'm not going to trust you off the bat. Oh, this man wants the best for me. This lady wants the best for me. No. Because that's not true. I mean, realistically, black people don't even want the best for black people. You know? Black people hate on other black people. And that's one of the truest statements that I'm going to say today. That's real shit. But, uh, long story short, I want, uh, to get into a group that raises awareness on all struggles, all people. All different colors and religions, ethnic backgrounds, fucking eco socio, uh, that shit, motherfucking, uh, I curse a lot, by the way, just, uh, you know, just, I don't want to be secluded to one race. Everyone in this world struggles, and that's something that everyone in this world gonna have to deal with. So why don't we have a group of love and tolerance and peace and violence only as a necessary 
reaction. Because I'm not going to stunt. And mind you, I'm getting way off topic. I'm talking about a whole lot of different shit because I ramble. My, my brain just jumbles everything together, mix that shit up, and spits it out as I think about the shit. But uh, Martin Luther King was a notable figure in goddamn it, black history. Of course, one of the biggest. Um, but I wasn't. All too, you know, I'm, I'm I'm not a big fan of his uh, non-violence, non-violence type shit. No. Violence begets violence, true. Eye for an eye. I can deal with that, you know? Um, Malcolm X, by any means necessary type shit. Uh, I'm more with that shit. I'm more with that shit. And I don't want to be considered a, a, a zealot. Or, God damn it, an extremist. At the same time, when it comes to dealing with Caucasians or just people in general that feel they have a right. Oh, I have a right to treat you this way because I feel like I'm better than you. I feel like my whole race is better than yours. Oh, I feel like I'm better than you because I have more money than you. My great-great-grandparents invested in this or stole these people's lands or, you know, killed these people and took their shit. So now I'm better than you because I'm richer than you because the money trickled down from generations. I've inherited this. Uh, they A lot of times they inherit the prejudice and the, the hatred and the, 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 my, the thought process that they are superior in whatever imagined fucking way. But... Was I just talking about? I don't know. All I'm saying is, I want to join something that I can believe in wholeheartedly. I can follow behind. I can be a part of 100%. And as of yet, I haven't found that. Um, Another thing with the nation of Islam that that I I, I I seen and I don't necessarily agree upon is the 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 violence right off the bat. Well, at least on a Phil Donahue uh, show, what uh, Mr. Muhammad was talking about, he was talking about uh, you know in South Africa till. The Caucasians, they got till sundown and after sundown, kill every man, woman, and child and baby because they've killed a lot of South African men, women, child, 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 goddammit, children and babies. And uh, I don't agree with that for the simple fact that children are raised to believe what they are taught. That's it, that's all. Ain't no getting around that. That's a fact of life. If you have a white child and he was raised in a black family, he's gonna, God damn it, grow up with, uh, probably, most likely, you know, talking like black people, acting like black people. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. You know, only once they get older and see, oh, Society deems that this is inappropriate or society deems that, you know, I shouldn't act like this or I should behave like this for whatever reason. That's when shit start to get fucked up. So killing, ch- killing kids. I, I, I'm not with that shit. I'm not. Um, I ain't gonna stunt. I'm, I'm, I'm almost radicalized to the point that I say, you know what? Killing adults is acceptable. Under certain situations, you know, um, but never kids, never kids, never. Uh, and all I, 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 I mm, like I said, I, I would say almost because I believe that life is supposed to be sacred, regardless of what religion you believe in, regardless of 
what's your goddamn it, socioeconomic background or your 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 ethnic makeup, life, human life, all life should be revered. It should be sacred. You should want to keep it. Ain't no reason you should want to just kill for the sake of killing. That's not cool. That's not good. And that's my personal beliefs. Now, mind you, I consider myself agnostic, so I don't know. I don't know. I'm not an atheist, you know. I believe there's a higher power. I don't know what the fuck it is, who the fuck it is, why, where, how, when. I don't know none of that shit. I would love to know. Yeah, I would. But the truth of the matter is, I would never know. Fucked up as it might be, I would never know. (sighs) But... You still got a moral compass. Everyone got a moral compass. Mine may be a little fucked up. Mine may be a little bit more fucked up than this person's. But that doesn't make this person a better person than than I am. Just because I believe this is not as wrong as that. Or, you know, some along them lines. All I'm saying is, life should not be taken lightly. Death is a natural part of life. Everyone has to die. There is no need to be afraid of death. It's natural. It's going to come. At the same time, life should be lived. Shit.